Okay, uh, how many distinct monobrominated alkanes can be formed? Okay, so let, let's see. Okay, there's a CH3 here and there's a CH3 here. And these two are attached to the same carbon. All right. So uh, in fact, any of these H's, any of them can be replaced with a Br and then actually you get the same product. Okay, actually get the same product. Right, so I'm going to just draw uh, what are the possibilities. So, but brominated, uh, so this Br, uh, this H can be kicked out to be replaced with Br1. The H from here, there's a H over here. It can also be replaced uh, with a Br. So this is 2. This is 3. This is 4. This is, okay, there's a, there's a CH3 here, right? So you can kick out this H, right? So this will be, uh, I'm going to write out, so it should look like this. Five. There's a H over here that can be kicked out. So it becomes six, seven, and eight. All right. So that's why uh, for this question, if you if you did it properly, you'll realize there's actually eight possible monobrominated alkenes. All right. Okay, let's uh, look at the next part. Okay, so uh, yeah, but I'm drinking all the BR here, but I'm trying to show you all those other possible uh, positions where the BR can be.